God must be able to read. And yet, if he can't, it would explain a lot. Every time I've seen him reading, it looked like his eyes weren't moving. It would make me really sad if God couldn't read. I think Miracle. I think Miracle too. Yeah, because I'm like, how is this affordable <laughs> for them? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's really cheap for me. Yeah. yeah. And like, how they get around. And there's so and much organizing to do. This oh, is a yeah. very big country. And then like, I feel like people are always losing packages. Mm -hmm. and also like the guys who drop off the mailman, like their carts are open air sometimes and there's just packages available for people to grab. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm like, but I get my stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Because some of them have like the thing at the back that they can close, but the other ones, the little cute cuties, <laughs> they, <laughs> they're like <laughs> open air. And I'm like, God, there's Amazon everywhere. Yeah. Like, someone would just grab it anyways. <laughs> now nah, you're basic. Yeah, come on. <laughs> just fudge and function. Fudge That's and function, like, honey. Come on. No. I, I, I wouldn't file that onto Miracle. Yeah, no. I think that's luck yeah. good lighting <laughs> i agree i'm obsessed i love it no i don't know if it's a miracle but it's good yeah. <laughs> see so no so i guess it's, yeah no. it's a revelation it's a miracle yeah. That yeah it's not a miracle oh. because she's born to do this so yeah. it's like yeah of course she turned another master right it's out. not a it's surprise. not a miracle that yeah. she turned it out exactly yeah, that was a that was a trick question mm -hmm. you almost messed uh. up <laughs> miracle no <laughs> no i don't think that's a miracle these are getting worse and worse <laughs> these, is, is this the same person's day as their this is the lady with the brunch yeah. and the mom with the glasses she's like then listening to ariana's album and then she's like going to yoga class after she ate brunch no <laughs> this ain't a miracle I agree with I that. I agree with that. That's, it's a pretty cr crazy concept. There's a lot of people on planet Earth and you find someone, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. And like for I a long time. I think it's a time. beautiful miracle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, yeah. Someone also that you can like work. be around with and just, yeah. Mm. Not just want to like be friends with even. Just right. like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, hmm. that's a miracle. That maybe is quite a miracle. Also yeah. Also like a Rupert. Yeah, I know. In there too. Who's this? I think that Rupert tweeted that though. Oh, he did. No. <laughs> I just like no. was immediately. No. That. Yeah, I think we should have Rupert there too. Yeah, I think it is a miracle <laughs> because when you were ten or whatever age they were when they were cast, like, how do you know if they're gonna be actors? Yeah, it's really. Yeah, yeah it's really. Daniel talks all about All child that. actors, I think, that end up, yeah, having careers. I'm like, wow, like, how did you know? <laughs> mm. Well, yeah. I guess you don't. You and don't, like, yeah, and so it is a miracle that they're like... That it works out. Yeah. That, like, Daniel and, talks about how lucky he feels that he, like, you know, was in the industry so young, and it turns out that he actually loves it, and mm -hmm. this is what he loves to do. Yeah. You know, you do one huge miracle, and everyone thinks you're an overnight success. But that's not true. I had to crash so many planes before I got a Sully. It takes work. I... Maybe I don't believe in angels as a physical form. Sure. Maybe it's more of a energy part of the universe but um i don't know if there were angels i hope they would look like this cast <laughs> i don't know no zits <laughs> no zits oh yeah amazing skin thank you yeah good skin well, um you know in the show dan <laughs> daniel has his accent he's plays yeah british. why don't you get to keep yours i don't know <laughs> it's really not fair. And Lolly Adafope is British. Mm -hmm. She is British in the show. I think um, maybe Australian accents are a little... Uh, <laughs> I think Americans don't really like them very much. <laughs> That's okay. Well, like them, but it, maybe it's hard to understand or something. But I do think Eliza is a very very much like, you know, uh, a heroine of sorts. And I think it was important that she was... American, but I am. I kind of prefer acting in an American accent these days. Yeah. So I'm. I'm not mad about it at Why? all. Why? I think it's just. I don't know. I've been. I. I don't think I've. I've acted once in an Australian accent, and that was like, in a TV show in Australia. And I think now I'm just more used to it, mm. and uh, it feels kind of weird talking in my normal voice, <laughs> acting. Actually, this is my. I grew up with an Indian accent because I spent 18 years in India and then I had to whatever I'm speaking with now is what it took a year at college to, yeah. <laughs> to get to whatever this is and this is all I can do this and my old Indian 
no. <laughs> <laughs> we should make Can't you try. Can't do anything. So, so yeah. So they were like the only option. They have very few options with me. So <laughs> luckily, this worked out. Yeah. In the show, your character is God's kind of fixer, like kind of assistant. Right. Yeah. Um, have you ever been an assistant? And what's the worst thing, the worst task, someone's asked you to complete? I have been an assistant for my friend um, who we had just I had done my one of my first movies and then I came back and I really was avoiding working in a restaurant and I didn't get paid a lot on the movie and, and then she was like, you should just be my assistant and I was like, okay. And then that was not good for our friendship, so it lasted for a short amount of time. But one of uh, I did weird stuff like she had a house up on this place called Beachwood Canyon, and it was like up this really really narrow lane, and she wanted me to transport stuff from up there to another place and stuff like that. But nothing like horrible, like the stuff that my character has to do in the show, which in one one episode I have to um, wipe uh, someone's. But who has diarrhea? So <laughs> not a baby. That's not a baby. A Steve Buscemi's butt. <laughs> so that's pretty. That's pretty bad, right? How is Steve Buscemi's butt? Good, great. Um, we'll it's see. very bouncy. <laughs> He's got a bouncy butt. <laughs> yeah, it's unexpected. You can crack a. What, you, what can you crack on things? A, a, a what beer. Is, a beer. I don't know. <laughs> like a crack walnut? open a. Yeah, you can. A can? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's cans and bottles. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> One thing I like about the show is that it has that the actions that your characters do have consequences. Mm-hmm. Just kind yeah, of it's yeah, it's really as the show goes on. There's so many like it just gets more and more complicated with that stuff. It's really interesting, like how it's part of the idea that like the technology that we have up there is so outdated uh, because there's so many human beings on the planet. The idea kind of behind the show is that this company Heaven Inc. was actually running pretty smoothly at the early days of humanity when there was fewer of us and now there's so many that Mm -hmm. we literally don't have time to keep up with what's happening and and the whole idea that the creator loved that the system that's really broken which he kind of sees in bigger corporations in our world too like bureaucracy kind of and all the stuff that it takes to do one simple thing and it's almost making everything more complicated so I think he was it's good for comedy but I think he was also trying to kind of make a point on on how we've overcomplicated things for ourselves. Mm-hmm. The bigger we get, yeah. Incoming! If we answer one of these impossible prayers, you spare Earth. All right, it's a bet. Earth destruction in two weeks.